at this time I'd like to show you how you can make use of surround reverb on Adobe Audition CS6 and in this video I'm going to demo uh, some presets on how you can apply surround reverb on a raw voice file or raw audio file what do we have right here drowning voice raw dot mp3 uh... You, you can use any file extension again not limited to mp3 you can use anything dot ogg dot flac dot wave it's all gonna work so open up adobe audition right here what you would want to do is load an audio file to the editor view. If you can't find editor right here, you go to window right on top, you got synthesis editor, you could do alt plus one right in there. Now you do open your file path, go to desktop right here, click, hold, drag, any raw file or any any audio, raw process, anything that you'd want to play with, you'd want to experiment with, or you'd want to convert and load to a project mix down. Drop that on the editor view. Click on home on your keyboard to bring that on the starting point. Play it. Health! I'm dropped! I'm drowning! That's one of the, the voice files that we've used on some of the video tutorials that we have. Trying to demo somebody drowning or somebody underwater trying to drown himself or really is drowning. Health! I'm dropped! I'm drowning! Control A to highlight everything. Go to effects right on top. Got something that says reverb from the list right there. Uh, you got another right at the bottom, something surround. Click on that, and we've got a lot of options right here. We're gonna demo one by one. Go back to default. You got something that says play or preview play before you can do apply. If you do apply, then it's gonna change all the waveform right there. But let's just do a uh, preview. So we would demo all of these right here. Play it. Alright, that's default, all mixed up. Health! I'm dropped! I'm drowning! There you go, you got something like a... Like a twice... Twice echo... Uh, from a hall? Uh, that's what I'm, I'm trying to detect right there. You can do auditorium right here. Health! I'm dropped! I'm drowning! There you go. Center stage. Health! I'm dropped! I'm drowning! And concert dimensions. Health, I'm dropped. I'm drowning. All right, I got drum house. Health, I'm dropped. I'm drowning. And from the front. Health, I'm dropped. I'm drowning. Full metal. Health, I'm dropped. I'm drowning. And here, stadium. Health, I'm dropped. I'm drowning. Health, I'm dropped. I'm drowning. It's in my dome. Hack the tank. Health, I'm dropped. I'm drowning. In the church. Health, I'm dropped. I'm drowning. Uh, this in a church effect right here. You can make use of this if you're trying to inject, uh, like, uh, like somebody preaching. Or like somebody talking inside uh, a hall looking like a church setting right there. Also, if you have somebody uh, singing and you'd want to make it sound like she is singing in, I mean, f together with a church choir doing solo. So you could overlay that effect right there. Also, lost in space. Health, I'm dropped. I'm drowning. There you go. Sort of like a vacuum trying to pull the voice and here another Nana's house health I'm dropped I'm drowning not much of a difference octet health I'm dropped I'm drowning there you go and somewhere not here health I'm dropped I'm drowning another the great outdoors health I'm dropped I'm drowning the medium. Health, I'm dropped. I'm drowning. And middle way. Health, I'm dropped. I'm drowning. And the last one. 
Help! I'm drowned. I'm drowning. Uh, turn up in the well. Uh, it goes by the title itself. If you're probably uh, trying to emulate or make an audio file sound like somebody fell down into a well, and uh, you want to make it sound like that, he's trying to call out for help. All are all are presets. If you don't want to make additional changes, you can just drag uh, damping, pre-delay, front width, surround width, all those. You got a lot in there that you can make changes with. But if you're just trying to quickly apply an effect, let's try to use this trap in a well. Click on apply. Uh, let me drag this down. Take a look at the waveform. It's gonna change. There you go. Help! I'm drowned. I'm drowning. All right, so that's how you can make use of a of a surround reverb effect. You can overlay on voice files if you want to try to make it sound a little bit different. Again, go to effects, go to some SS reverb, go to surround reverb right here, and um, let me just show you one of my favorites. This is one of my favorite. And also, we got something that says, uh, not that, center stage, what was that? Auditorium, right here. If you play that, Help! I'm drowned. I'm drowning. sometimes uh, you can make use of this. Auditorium sounding, you can overlay that into uh, a voice in an acoustic guitar. And also, you could add in uh, some claps from, from people and some shout. And you could emulate somebody singing. In, in a little bit of a of a hall type or a little bit of a studio oh not exactly a studio what I'm trying to say was uh, a bar maybe say a concert bar with just few people something like that so we're like an acoustic setting All right for some of the video tutorials you can check out www.newtoboss.com again my name is Ty please do subscribe to our YouTube channel youtube.com slash newtoworks